EastEnders spoilers, Mick Carter to kiss Stuart halfway over Tina Carter revelation? EastEnders fans have been delivered a shocking video earlier today hinting Mick Carter could be about to kill Dodgy Stuart Highway after the true extent of his actions have been revealed. Last night, EastEnders fans were shocked to discover what Tina Carter, played by Louisa Bradshaw White, was involved with Stuart Halfway, Ricky Champ. The beloved character overheard We Call It A Kid by D-Mob during an 80s night. And it sent horrifying memories flooding back for Tina, who stopped what she was doing. What made it worse was Stuart's sinister grin staring across the room at her. Although fans will have to wait until tonight to discover what happened to Tina, EastEnders released a gripping trailer on the upcoming drama. The teasing video shows Tina opening up to Sonia Fowler, Natalie Cassidy, about the ordeal. Immediately, her friend begs her to confess what's happened to her. But before that, Tina tells Linda Carter, Kelly Bright, who in turn tells Mick Carter, Danny Dyer. The pub landlord is asked to look into Stuart's eyes to see who he believes. But it seems his mind is clear, as later on in the trailer, Mick is shaking with rage. Will he take revenge on Stuart once he discovers what happened to Dina? And if so, how far will Mick go? Quite a few theories are being bandied around the internet surrounding what happened to Dina. Some think Stuart traped her and she blocked out the awful ordeal. One viewer commented on Twitter, so what's the deal with Stuart and Tina in at Bubsess Enders? Did he rape her to that song or something? Is he Zazza's dad? They haven't seen each other for about 25 years and how old is Zazza? While another added, so did Stuart trape Tina and he's Zazza's dad? The song was probably playing at the time, which is why it all came flooding back for poor Tina. Will the truth be revealed tonight? This follows news that Carmel Kazemi star Bonnie Langford will leave EastEnders. Bonnie has been on the BBC soap for three years, but has called time on Albert Square for now.